Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. This is another video about the Honor Magic V2 and the specific questions I got in one of the comments of my videos and I was asked, hey, does it have desktop mode? And to be honest, I had to look it up. What is desktop mode for Honor smartphones? And it turned out that the desktop mode is called Magic Desktop and it's similar to Samsung DeX. So mainly what it does is you plug the phone uh, into a monitor and then it displays um, a desktop where you can kind of use the phone um, as a touchpad and then have a desktop environment where you can work. And this is a cool feature of Samsung smartphones. Uh, the Z Fold 5 supports it and also the S24 Ultra and 23 Ultra, they all supported DeX. And I really had to research it and was not able to find anything. I found Magic Desktop for some of Honor smartphones, but I was not able to find if this is actually available for the Honor Magic V2. And what can you do in such a case? You just use your monitor, plug it in and see what it does. And surprisingly, I was able to confirm that the Honor Magic V2 supports Magic Desktop. And in this video, I kind of want to go through the process and show you what Magic Desktop does, if it's good, if it's worth it, if I want to use it in the future and kind of do a video about it because I was not able to find anything good on YouTube. Okay, so without further ado, let's go. Okay, so in order to use Magic Desktop you need a USB-C to HDMI converter or cable or you can just use a USB-C cable and I will just unplug my USB-C cable from my monitor and then all you have to do is to just plug the cable in. Okay, so first of all the phone will of course start charging and in the back you can see that the first thing that happens is it will just mirror the phone, right? So you can yeah, just use the phone also um, when you unfold it. It will display the unfolded phone and also the unfolded app. So that's, that could be useful, but then you will get a notification on top. Here this blue one, when you pull down the notification center, you will see there is this easy projection notification and when you click on it you will get several options. So first of all you can change the projection mode. You can enable auto adjust aspect ratio. So when in landscape orientation auto adjust display ratio to mirror TV full screen. That can be changed and you can also decide to hide the notifications. And what we will do in order to go into desktop mode is go to desktop mode. So this is phone mode, mirror the phone screen and then you can click on desktop mode. And this is where the magic happens. So you can see first of all the phone now acts as a touchpad. And on the screen you have a desktop. Now you can put the phone down and use the phone as a touchpad to move um, the mouse and I had to adjust the orientation and some apps were already on the desktop so I didn't put them there. They were already pre-configured and then you have all your apps here so you can just open the app drawer and launch every app you have and you also have a taskbar where you can put some apps and you have the settings panels on also the notification center here and also some Android back and home buttons on the right. So what I'm noticing when using Magic Desktop is exactly what happens now. So the touchpad became unresponsive as you can see. So this desktop mode seems not to be without problems. Now it's working again. I don't know what happened and uh, now you can just launch apps and the apps will launch in Windows. So as you can see I launched Firefox 
And now I can open YouTube and also YouTube will, will open as a window and you can with two fingers have um, a second mouse click and then move the windows where you want them to be. You can resize them more or less exactly the same what you can do with a normal desktop operating system. So that's quite nice. And then also the phone not only acts as a touchpad, it also has some further options. For example, you can do a screenshot with this button here and you also can go into draw mode. Hold and drag the pointer to draw. Um, so you basically can draw on the desktop to kind of show some things or annotate things and then you can click on the eraser and erase it. So I can imagine that this could be useful for presentations, for example, where I can go and uh, hold and underline stuff or yeah, whatever, right? So that's a draw mode. And what also nice is you can click on the three dots right here and start screen recording and then it will record the desktop screen. So if you want to do some screen grabs and stuff like this, this is working perfectly and the screen recordings will then also be saved to your phone. And you can stop them right here. You can also choose which mic is used for recording and you can also have some options and I, I'm now going out of the draw mode. So you have, and now again, the touchpad is not working as intended. So I think this mode still is a little bit error prone. Yeah, it's now a little bit unresponsive and uh, not as performant. So uh, yeah, but that's in a nutshell, magic desktop. Okay, so to sum this all up, um, I mean, in general, I really like that the Magic V2 has Magic Desktop because in the end, it's another feature, it's an added benefit and uh, it's one more thing to play around with. Um, I can see myself using it, for example, for showing photos and videos to friends and family. Um, I mean, in general, this is also why a foldable phone is great because you can show uh, stuff to to um, people much more easily because of the big screen but sometimes you want to have it even bigger gather around the TV and show your masterpieces to the world and I think for that magic desktop can be useful I don't see myself using it productively to work on docu documents write emails surf the web uh, because I will much rather use my laptop or my tablet for this um, but for uh, some folks who don't own a tablet or just um, don't want to use their laptop I don't know it could be useful to just quickly plug in the phone to uh, HDMI or USB-C and uh, have a bigger screen uh, to work with so um, in general I think that's a, a good thing to have and that's it. That was my video about the Honor Magic V2's Magic Desktop Mode. I hope this was interesting. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment. I'm trying to answer everyone and all of you. And uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I would be glad to welcome you in one of my next videos. Until then, take care and bye.